we got most of it dug out got all the bushes gone we're actually gonna try to move it it's a big something tree it's about 30 feet tall we're gonna attempt it don't know if it'll live it's got about a 24 inch trunk with a spear stabbed in it anyway we're gonna try to pick it up we got partially dug around it's a pretty good sized rip ball it might survive we'll see i'm gonna move it over to this spot right here got a hole dug for it so we're gonna move it to there it'll kind of help block the wind that comes across this valley there and up the hill so this is where we're going to put the shop garage it's mostly going to be used for a shop but it'll be kind of like a garage so that's where we're going to put it we're going to probably push a storage unit up this side and somebody gave us some trusses so we're going to put a storage unit on this side then one on the other side of that tree and put the trusses on over the storage unit so we're gonna slap it in there right there okay so we got five hatchets and one spear stabbed into the tree uh, no big deal it'll probably live hopefully it does we'll see so what I usually do is take these forks and pull them off and add them to these ones so I just put so this one has four four forks on it. And that's what I'll usually use to lift up a big heavy tree like that. So you just slide them to the middle. It has this little slot right here. It allows the fork to come off. Put them back on the same way. Slide them on and you just add extra forks. These ones are a little longer than ones that came with the skid, but that'll work. Okay, got these forks all on there. Need to scoop up a big old tree.
though it barely made it. It's got about a, it's about seven feet across, seven to eight foot root ball. The trunk is a little over, real close two feet, I guess. Some parts of it are a little over two feet. So, at least the root ball sort of stayed together. We'll see if it survives. It's already been kind of struggling. Give it, give it a chance anyway. Probably because somebody's throwing hatchets at it. And knives and spears and whatever else. So, anyway, there it is. We're going to bury it up. This branch that I broke, you can see that it's, it's a red cedar. It's got some pretty lush red in it. Smells good. Got that thing all planted. It's not perfectly level, but it's pretty close. So this is where it was, right there. Shoved it up this hill. It's probably about a four foot rise from there, from out there where it was to where it is right now.